Morning everyone, how are you all? It's Christmas Eve! <laughs> On the 24th day of Christmas, Karen gave to thee a look at my Disney parcel and a brand new subscription box for me, for me, for me. We got there eventually. You ready? Hit it, Mickey. You ready? ready? I can't believe it's the 24th of December. I, can't, I really can't, I can't believe. Last minute shops, no. Mad crowds, no. Supermarket shopping, <laughs> Yeah, I know, but it's nearly there. It's nearly there and tonight's gonna to be a very special night. And if you're watching it of an evening, um, when the kids are in bed or what have you, it's a very special night. And I'm gonna put the silent night on this move on, on this um, on this movie. Yeah, because I'm an international movie star, did you not know? On this video, I'm gonna put silent night. And um, purely because to me, at the night when I go outside, when it's late and it's calm, and I've said this before, but there's like a peace in the air, it's like it's like magic is in the air um, and it's one of the most my most favorite times Christmas Eve night to go out and just listen just listen because I think you can hear the magic um, so yeah so yeah so whatever time you're watching this even if it's after Christmas I hope you have a wonderful day today and for me and my family one of our Christmas Eve traditions is we always watch, we put our pyjamas on later on in the day, we're peeling vegetables and what have you normally during the day. Um, but our tradition is of a night time, we sit there with hot chocolate. Uh, Blake always makes a hot chocolate, that's a tradition, and he puts loads of whipped cream on and marshmallows and yeah, uh, we sit there and we put Tom Hanks in the Polar Express and I just, I just love that movie and we have to watch it, even if we're running around and it's frantic. And you know when you haven't got time? That's what we have to do. Um, and that's, yeah, it's really special, really special. And we always check on NORAD um, and to see where about Santa is in the world. And we're always saying where, where he is so that we know when we have to go to bed. And before we go to bed, we always put out a mince pie and I know in America you don't have mince pies, um, but I'll show you one of them tomorrow. We put a mince pie and we put a carrot out for Rudolph. And we always leave either a glass of milk or a glass of wine so that if it's very cold, he's got something just to, just a little, just a wee little drab. Um, so that something to warm Santa, because obviously I don't want him drunk in charge of a sleigh. Um, but, but yeah, and then we go to, we go to sleep and we, we hope we're on the good list. So, yeah, so I hope you have a wonderful Christmas Eve and I hope whatever traditions you do, um, share them below. Um, we've all got room for new traditions, haven't we? So, right, oh, I'm feeling all romantic now. Right, glasses on, I can see again. Right, calendars. Where's my chocolate calendar? Oh, still down here from yesterday, not organised right. The last, the last chocolate, but it's a big one. It's a big one. I don't know when I eat all of this in one go. Look at the size, look! It's huge! <laughs> oh. I think I might manage it. <laughs> oh, no, that is not little. And isn't that naughty? It's just got the G for galaxy. There's nothing Christmassy about a big block of chocolate. So what we've all got to do now is that we've all got to dream and send a bit of pixie dust and imagine it's something Christmassy. So I think we'll have a log cabin with smoke coming out. <laughs> a winter wonderland 
a, a, a scene with Santa and his sleigh. What do you think? Sound good to you? I can't buy to do something. Sounds good to me. That's thick, that is. I can't eat all of this on the camera. I'll break my teeth. Oh my word. I know what I'm doing when I'm editing. Mm. 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 Magic Kingdom mug again today. I use this a lot, don't tell this one. Cheers, everyone. Oh. Oh, right. So, our last animator's piece to do it today. So, what have we got in box 24? Still got chocolate in my tea. So, what have we got in box 24? I don't think it's Santa. Ah! Oh, you know when you stab yourself with your own nail? <laughs> oh dear, I'm getting a bit like hyper, have you noticed? Well, we kind of got a Mrs. Claus. We haven't got a Mr. Claus. But we got Lilo! Of course we're not Lilo. Oh, how apt is that? <gasps> Isn't that apt? For anyone who doesn't know, and I know I haven't put the video out yet, I think it might be coming out on the 26th of December, possibly, after Christmas. It's a video where I dressed up as Lilo at Mickey's very, no, Mickey's not so scary Halloween party. So the fact that this is my advent calendar unboxing, and the fact that I unboxed myself, <laughs> I mean, how fab is that? Oh, oh! If I, I couldn't have wished for anyone else, could I really? Oh, that's really made my day. That's I oh know that's really soft, soft, and uh, uh, it's really soft, isn't it? But um, yeah, that's really made my day. It's like everything's aligning. Mm, I really like that. Tomorrow, what I'm going to do, because we've still got a Zoom Zoom to do tomorrow morning, is um, with help from Blake, um, we're going to set up the advent calendars and I'll put clips in at the end of Christmas Day so you can see the advent calendars all completely done and set up. So, Right, 24, we've still got 25 on this for tomorrow and it would be, wouldn't it, I was right again. We've had two, two of the cabaret, ca Caballeros. And the third one today is Panchito. I think I, I think I said that right, Panchito. But there you go. So we've had the three caballeros, caballeros even, in bright, vibrant colours. Aren't these lovely? This sombrero, his little bow tie ready for his performance. Oh, these are really lovely. So who do you think we're going to get tomorrow? These have been really unusual characters, haven't they? They haven't been your run-of-the-mill characters. It's not the obvious ones. They're the more unusual ones. And I'm guessing as time goes by, they struggle to know who to put in, so it's different. Um, so I wonder who tomorrow's going to be. I wonder. Right. So he can sit there with the other two. Is this going to balance? A bit like the Leaning Tower of Pisa, but we won't notice that. Right, it's our last pin advent calendar. It's the last one today. I'm really sad that this has come to an end with this. Um, and I don't know if they're going to do another one next year because I know there's only a thousand of them, and until recently they were still available on site. Um, even at a reduced price, they weren't selling. So, who knows what they're going to do next year if they're going to do it? I hope they do. Let's we'll see. Well, it had to be, didn't it? Couldn't have been anyone else. It's a big pin, and I don't know if I'm going to get this out. I'm going to have to rip this. Come on, ain't you cool? Because you can hear me. They can hear me, you know. They. 
they can hear me. Do you like that? They. <laughs> Got it. And um, that's definitely Minnie kissing Mickey. Look, that's a lovely big pin. Look at that. Look at that. The tree and the castle behind their ears. They've got their proper Santa hats on, their Santa outfits. Isn't that beautiful? And then on the back, you've got your limited edition again there. Really beautiful. I love doing this. Right, where's my tree? Look at this, my tree. Right. So, it's on the other side. Oh, and I think it struggled to come out because there's two pin backs, so the other pin backs must still be in there. Um, but there you go. So he's on there. And then I'll sum that up and do a proper, proper picture of the completed tree tomorrow. Sad, isn't it? When it's like this. Right, let's pop that over there. Right, so now I've got my scissors and I've got my Magnum Valley glass in front. So I've got two parcels I want to share. The first one is a delivery I have had off Disney. Um, so I've not opened it yet. I've not seen it yet. Um, but this really is the kind of year I've had and um, although I'm not a plush girl I'm not a plush girl I do like the odd plush I don't collect, collect them but I do like the odd one so you know what's coming out of this box don't you so lots, lots of stuff will come out of that box right so I've got my packing note there I thought that was a Christmas card which it is really but it's a bit naughty so I've had a Christmas card from Disney and I thought oh that's lovely and you open it up and it's advertising the next Mickey's monthly <laughs> so well you got you can't miss a marketing opportunity can you so I've got that and I'm sure you've all seen next year so we won't go into that but I have got the pins oh these are really nice Look at these. I'm sure you've seen them all, so I'll, I'll do this quickly. So you've got the three pins. So I've got those ones. And that's finished my that's finished my set. I'm missing February's. And I did do a pin trade for it. That was my first ever pin trade, and it went so horribly wrong. Because instead of being sent a set of three pins, I was sent a set of three pims. As in pims the drink pims, if you like. Um, and I've never found a real set since. So if you know of anyone who's got the, the February set and, and they're looking to sell it or trade, please please put them in touch with me. Because I'd love that because it's finished. But um, these are beautiful. I did buy the, the Mickey's Memory book. But because now I've got that Mickey profile, I think I'm going to take them all off and just do a Mickey page. I think that's what I'm going to do with mine. So. And then I had to... <laughs> Gosh, she's like um, Space Age. You know, like this, my first impression. You know, like the shell suits we used to wear back in the 80s. Well, some people did. I might have had one. I might not. I can't recall. But I've got him. I've got the diamond Mickey with all of his sheen and his different colours. And he, he, he feels just like a plastic, which obviously he is. He's a shiny plastic. But... Um, and nice with his shorts there, little shorts and his legs. And the reason I got this is because it's his diamond one and um, 90 years. I got it for this on the bottom. It's kind of fun to do the impossible, which is a, a very famous quote by Walt Disney himself. So because of how I feel about Walt Disney, that was a no brainer. Um, but for me, this year has been such a year. I've had all these trips. I've been able to share it with you. Um, many of you have been with me from the start and lots of others have found me along the way. 
and I never dreamt the channel would be where it is today and I can't thank any of you enough because you really don't know what it means to me. I started but was it March, April? Um, and I didn't know what I was doing and I, I wasn't taught computers at school so everything is like learning, what do they call it, on foot? Um, you learn as you go and that's what I have and I can edit videos, I can put music on, I know about copyright, I, oh, I've got a long way to go, don't get me wrong, I want to start putting moving things in and, and all the rest but I don't know if that's a special editing suite that costs a lot of money in which case we'll stick with what we've got. Um, I've grown so much this year and the friendship that has been shown to me by each and every one of you has meant the world. So every time you put a comment and you think, oh, well, it doesn't mean they think it does. I note every single one and uh, means means the world to me. So you've taken your time to comment on my video and uh, what a gift is that? So thank you. So I had to get in, didn't I? I had to, so yeah, bye Mickey for my my incredible journey that I've had this year. But I waffle, I waffle a lot, we know that. And I have another box. Right. My friend, Vicky, oh, and I put a channel down here. Um, Vixen Lost in Disney, I think it is, but I could be wrong, Vicky, I'm sorry. I'll put it down below. And I'll put a link to her channel down in the description as well, so you can click on that and go straight to her. Um, yesterday, I told you about the T-shirt she got me by. Now this <laughs> Well I'll be jiggered. <laughs> this is the wrong parcel. But I don't care. We'll still do it, won't we? Right. I love that, don't you? Right. I'm sorry. <laughs> Open your boxes before you film. Right. I've opened up to a. Uh, I've opened up. I've subscribed to this pop in a box and it's Funko Pops. And um, it's in the UK, but you can actually do it in the US as well. And you can sign up to one, two, three, six, or 12 Funko Pops a month. Told Blake, he said, we'll have 12. I said, no. We won't dream on we'll have two so i signed up for two funko pops a month and what you do is you go through and there's a huge list and you tick all the ones you'd like and they send them from you like this so although it's a mystery box it's what you'd like so it's a mystery you don't know what you're getting but it's one you like so i really like that it's really inexpensive and i thought that's what this was it's actually part of blake's christmas present <laughs> which is another mystery box which I'm gonna be really naughty. Shall we show it? I can't not show you, can I? When I told you, and I built you up to all this excitement. He's shaking with excitement because that's what I tell Phil. So, this is let me show you. This is the Harry Potter mystery box, and it's got five items. I think it's five items in it. Um, and we don't know what's in it, it's a mystery, hence a mystery box. Um, and it was. £29.99 but because I've got a subscription it gives you 10% off so it's actually £27 so it's like a stocking filler for Blake but he won't watch this so we're fine we can we can I can show you this so I can't really take the stuff out the boxes but you'll get the drift so go and check them out so we've got here now you think I'm bad with Disney Harry Potter it's a whole different ball game I'm even worse so we have got a pen and it's the the headless guy and he's the one that's in uh, the bus at Universal Studios in Orlando. So isn't that cool, that pencil? That's the first thing. Right. Oh, I cannot, I cannot believe I thought it was the other, because the other one should have come before now. Right. Oh no, it's four things. I tell a fib. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Right, okay. Oh, that's really, really nice. This is a serious black vinyl figure. Look at that, how cool is that? How super cool is that? I can take it out of the box, it's not sealed, so that's all right. Right. 
Oh, that's really nice. And he hasn't got this one. Isn't that lovely? Now, bear in mind, this was £30 in this box. So, there's that. Put him back. I've got to put him away so he doesn't know I've had him open. But then he'll watch and he'll go, Mom, Mom. I'll go, oh, it doesn't matter, son. It was just a little extra something off you, Mom. Right. Right, this one, right. Is I have got here, I don't know what this is. Right, it is a vinyl figure, and it's a surprise vinyl figure. So you've got her on the front, but well, she's all the way around the box. I wonder if that's her. <laughs> okay, okay. He won't know it was a black bag, will he? Shh, shh. Oh, and it is her. Is she the crazy bit? I forget her name. Is she the crazy professor? I think she might be. Look how fab these are. And this is like a mini one. It must be what, one, two, three, four inches? How fab is that? So I'm now putting it back in the box. The box that didn't come with a blind bag. Did, I didn't see a blind bag, did you? I didn't see one. Don't know what you're on about. Um, and then the last one. Oh, yeah. I don't need to get this out. Oh, look at this. It's a special vinyl figurine. And there's five you can get on the back. And I think these are meant to be the, like the more lifelike ones I was looking on there yesterday. Um, and it's got magical creatures. So I wonder if it's out of, of that film. Look, look, it's Harry. Look. He's got his Quidditch and he's got his brew, uh, his um, broomstick, isn't it? He? he flies on his Quidditch, his Quidditch ball. Look at that! Isn't that fabulous? I love this. We just pretend we know nothing about it. No one will know. We're on the secret. <laughs> Next year, they'll watch all my videos because they know if they do, they'll see their Christmas presents in advance. Just saying. <laughs> anyway, I hope you've enjoyed that. I can't believe it wasn't my subscription box that I was waiting desperately for, but at least we still that, got that to come for the new year. But go check them out, pop in a box. I was really shocked when I mean, she put it up and I think my subscription, um, you get 10% off the figures, so they were £9.99, so what that made, made them £9.80. It was about £21, £22 for two figures um, every month, plus shipping. So I think it came out about £24, £25, which um, I don't know what the prices are on the US site. So as a comparison, that'd be about $28, but yours might be cheaper. Um, I don't know. So go check them out, but it's pop in a box and you tick the country you're in. Um, yeah, and I just think it's really, really, you know, a bit of a fun subscription. So I hope you like that, and we'll actually have the actual subscription next time. I'll open the box to see what's in it first. <laughs> Could you believe my reaction? Oh. Anyway, gobsmacked. Good English word, that. Gobsmacked. But anyway, enjoy the rest of your day. Have a wonderful night. Sweet dreams, everyone, and I hope you've all been on his good list, and I hope you all have wonderful surprises in the morning. And I'll see you at some time tomorrow, whenever's convenient or in the next few days, but I'll put a video up tomorrow, and I've got a great big box as a present just to me to share with you. So take care, be safe, and I'll see you very soon. Bye. Oh, and don't forget, if you haven't, if you want to see more madness, click the subscription bell and the notification bell and give me a thumbs up, even if it's just for my reaction on that box. But anyway, see you tomorrow. Bye, everyone. Bye.